battle of the planetary eyepieces the moon strikes back if you remember from my last video i was filming mars but it turned out to be a bit bright <laughs> the truth is it was so bright i couldn't see any details and neither could you guys and a couple of you asked that perhaps i film the moon so we could actually zoom into the craters and see the details and that would be a better comparison you know what i agree and i also use an sv bony filter this filter is designed to be uh, used on the moon it actually increases contrast and reduces glare So let's jump straight in with the 3.2 millimeter from TMB. So you can see there was a lot of uh, atmospheric currents in the air and we did get some distortion, but you could definitely see the details of the moon with the TMB 3.2 millimeter. If you recall from my last video, I was finding it difficult to zoom in, well not zoom, but to focus on Mars. It was a different story this time. The crater that can be seen in the middle of this image is called Tycho. If you look closely, you can see a mound in the center. That mound is actually the size of a baseball field. Using all of these lenses, not just the 3.2 millimeter, on the moon you can actually really see the detail it was amazing you could really see all the shadows and sometimes even little glitters on the surface of the moon that might be ice I don't know what it is I'd love to know so if you guys know please send me a message it's quite a magical experience seeing the moon with your own eyes for those of you who've already seen the moon many times before through your own telescopes no problem just fast forward to the next clip but I'm going to let this clip run and let everyone else who hasn't seen the moon before admire it and enjoy the surface. When comparing Tycho to other craters on the moon, it's relatively new. It was formed about 100 million years ago when an object hit the moon. That object still remains in the center. It's about 84 kilometers in diameter. Can you see the waves in the atmosphere? Believe it or not, that was caused by a plane flying past. It's actually the exhaust fumes that's causing the distortion. It's unbelievable. Well, what did you think? That was amazing, right? Which one should we check now? I know. Let's take a look at the 3.2mm uh, from the Star Guider. The Star Guider 3.2mm is one of my favourite eyepieces. I generally go for this one more so than the others it feels nice in the end and combined with my telescope I get a good view the image is sharp the contrast is not too dark neither I think generally you can have two eyepieces with the same focal length, same magnification and the same telescope and one would perform well on the moon whereas one will perform better on let's say Venus or Mars. So I think it's best to have a number of um, eyepieces even if they are of the same spec. Judge for yourselves, leave a comment.
to be honest with you because the moon is bright and you have a lot of contrast and details it was actually hard to tell the difference not having the eyepieces side by side to compare them but now we're going to merge the two clips together and let's take a look and judge for ourselves which one is actually better looking at the two images side by side now you can see the TMB has more contrast and the star guider is slightly lighter the image is actually lighter I personally think I can see more detail with the star guider but I'm starting to prefer the TMB 3.2 millimeter for the actual moon why because there's more contrast it's slightly darker and I could see I don't know, it, it looks like I can see more detail with the TMB. Whether it's where I'm looking on the actual moon, I don't know. The TMB looks better right now. Judge for yourselves, let me know. I remember when I physically looked through the eyepiece, I was impressed with the Star Guider to be honest with you. But now that they're side by side, I can see there's not a lot in it. If you remember when I was looking at Mars with the TMB 3.2, it was hard to focus the image. Which leads me to believe that eyepieces are tools for the job. Sometimes a particular eyepiece is not suited for a particular planet and you might be better off trying a different brand or model, even if it is the same magnification. Let's compare the two TMBs side by side. To be honest with you, Apart from the contrast, there's not a lot in it when looking at the moon. The magnification may look the same for, for both of them, but it's not. It's because I actually zoomed in the 3.2 on the actual phone just to get it the same size so we could get a better comparison between the two. I think when I was actually filming the 2.5, however, the atmospheric conditions were slightly worse that couldn't be helped right now looking at this screen the 3.2 is giving a better image from what I could see but again that could be due to atmospheric conditions the 2.5 definitely is lighter in color though the contrast is lighter Judge for yourselves, let me know. This is a good shot right now. So at this stage, how are you guys feeling about this? I, I've been studying the images now since yesterday to be honest with you and I'm starting to have my doubts regarding which one's best. They all seem pretty good to be honest with you, especially for the money. Um, I still kind of like overall the 2.5 but the 3.2 Star Guider is also one of my favorites. I'm finding it hard to judge which one's best to be honest with you. They're, they're pretty close, you know, give or take the contrast, they're pretty close. 
Let's take a look at the um, 2.5 TMB against the Star Guider, just like what I did with Mars. And let's see, let's see if there's a difference between the two. Okay, so we've got the TMB 2.5 and the Star Guider. Very close. Very close indeed. I think the Star Guider has more detail. Obviously, the TMB has more magnification. A lot of it might be due to atmospheric distortion. The Star Guider has a slight blue haze at the top. Top. Um, I don't know if that was due to the camera's position or not. I haven't noticed it before, to be honest with you. But good images, sharp images. I would say in better atmospheric conditions, they're very good. And I'm even tempted to zoom in with the phone just to get more detail. I didn't, however, because I wanted both images to be the same size, give or take. breathtaking images here. I've got to admit I enjoyed taking these uh, clips yesterday 24th of November 2020 super images Well, what did you think? It's close, hey? Well, I can't make up my mind neither, but let me know what you guys think. I'm sure it's going to be helpful to some of you guys who are thinking of purchasing these eyepieces. They're all very good. You can buy with confidence. I'm happy with them. I'm certainly not going to sell any. To begin with, I was thinking of selling one. I'm not going to name it, but I'm going to actually keep it because now I believe it's a tool for a job and it depends on what you're actually viewing so have a look at the images tell me what you think do you like this video is it better than part one um for those of you who haven't actually seen the um, first video click here and check out part one this is the uh, views of mars in part one we filmed mars and i'm going to leave you guys with some photos that i took um, with these eyepieces through my phone it's a samsung s9 I hope you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe.